How to record unlimited video on your Sony a6000. What is good YouTube? It's that one camera guy back at again with another video for you. This is a tutorial guide on how to unlock unlimited recording on your Sony a6000. Well, sort of. I'm going to go over the steps for you. It's pretty simple. If you hang on to the very end of the video, I will show you a couple more tips and tricks for this camera. If you're new to my channel and you're finding it for the first time, I go by that one camera guy. I make videos, tutorials, guides, and reviews on the Sony mirrorless system. If you'd like to catch the latest content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell when I produce content every single week on my channel. And my old subscribers, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button and let's go ahead and get started. Here are the things you're going to need. One, your Sony a6000. Two, a USB cable, preferably the one that came with your camera. Step three, a Windows or Mac based computer. Step four, you're going to need to download the application in the description below for your proper operating system, whether it's Windows or Macs. Now, let's go over the steps. First thing you're going to do is turn on your camera. Step two, set it to M on the mode dial. Not really sure if it does much. Step three, go ahead and click on the menu button on the back of your camera. Step four, navigate to tab six, page four in the menu. Step five, set your USB settings to MTP. This is gonna let the camera and computer communicate. Step six, turn your camera off. Step seven, plug in the USB cables to both the camera and the computer so that they're actually connected. Step eight, turn on your camera. Step nine, run the software on your computer. So now we're jumping to the computer. Step 10, when you run the software, go to the install tab section, go to the drop down for app list, select open memories tweak for step 12 and step 13, install the selected app. Step 14, wait a few moments and you should see a confirmation message saying installation was successful. Now go ahead and disconnect the camera from the computer. So how do you use this hack now? So before you finish, you got to make sure you enable this feature. So here's how you do it. Number one, go back to the menu option on your camera. Step two, go to tab four, page one. Step three, go to your application list. Step four, go ahead and select open memories tweak. Step five, navigate to tab two, the video settings. And step six, put a checkbox for disable video recording limit. And now you can record longer than 30 minutes. Warning, this may void your warranty. So use it at your own risk. I get this question a lot. How do you remove open memories tweak? Number one, go to tab six, page six. Step two, go to settings, reset. And step three, choose initialize. Just be careful. It's going to reset the entire camera, remove everything that was on there and bring it back to its original factory setting. Overheating. The Sony a6000 is prone to overheating like other mirrorless camera systems out there. So keep that in mind. If you install this application, it doesn't mean you're gonna be able to record an hour or two hours. It varies. If the temperatures get too hot or it's too warm, your camera may overheat. Just keep that in mind. So here's some tips. Tip one, go ahead and pull the screen out from the back of your camera. Step two, you can actually operate the camera with this door open to let some more heat out of the camera. And another tip is you can actually use a dummy battery and plug it into this actual port right here, which has been known to help with the camera as well. On one of my tests that I did, I was able to record about less than 10 minutes before it overheated. The house was in air condition at the time. Then I turned on the air conditioning and waited for a few hours. I ran the test again, and then the camera pretty much recorded the entire hour and a half. Like it ran on about an hour and a half on that one battery. So that was very interesting. So it just depends. If it's really hot, it's gonna overheat. If it's cool, it might last a little bit longer. Just keep that in mind so that you can be prepared if something like that happens to your camera. So I said I was gonna give you some more bonus tips. So here's the thing. If you purchase a camera from another country, maybe in Japan, and your camera's Japanese, if you install the Open Memories Tweak, you can actually unlock all the languages and switch it back to English, for example, if you wanted to. So what you do is, when you go into your Menus tab that I explained to you earlier, which was tab four, page one, Application List, Open Memories Tweak, go to the Protection tab, and then check Unlock Protected Settings. Then go to the Region tab and unlock all languages. Also, if you're getting that PAL NTSC selector warning when you turn on your camera, you can disable that as well. In the same area that you're just in right now, go ahead and just navigate down and there's an option to disable the PAL NTSC warning on your camera. And that's it. That's all I've got for you as far as these extra tips 
and how to record longer on your Sony a6000. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and once again, I will catch you on the next video. Bye.